All right, so this tutorial is going to create uh, an Amazon EC2 instance running Ubuntu 10.04. So start off by creating a key pair. Uh, we're going to use this to log in to our instance once it's created. Call it EC2 identity. Uh, click create, and your browser is going to save this uh, as EC2 identity.pem. So that's in your downloads folder. Just remember that for the future. Uh, next up, we're going to click on the instances tab and launch a new instance. So search for AMI3E02F257. This is a community AMI that's pre-configured with Ubuntu 10.04 LTS. Um, that's going to be a pretty stable Ubuntu distribution for a couple years. Uh, we want to make it a micro instance. This uh, Ubuntu AMI is actually small enough to run in the cheapest Amazon um, instance type. So these are all, you can accept the defaults, that's fine. Um, for the name, type in Swan Dive. This is just going to be for convenience. Uh, it'll help us find the instance in the future. And we're going to use the key pair, EC2 identity, that we created earlier. So just click continue. Now we need to create a security group. This is basically a firewall. Um, so call it Swan Dive. And yeah, it's going to allow the VPN traffic uh, into and out of the Swan Dive instance. Start off by creating an SSH rule. We need this to log in uh, in order to perform some system administration. And uh, make a UDP rule for port 500. This is one of the two ports Swan Dive really needs. Uh, make another UDP rule for port 4500. Um, this is the other Swan Dive port. And now click Continue. And uh, confirmation screen just shows all the settings. And uh, we're good to go. The instance is launching in the background. So the next thing we do is create uh, or allocate an elastic IP address. Um, this is going to be a publicly visible IP address that we'll use to uh, connect to the machine from the internet. So uh, now we've got one. We got to associate it with the machine instance we just created. So uh, you know, associate it with Swan Dive, and. Uh, this IP address is going to come in handy in just a few minutes, so remember it for the future. So let's go to the Swan Dive website, and we're going to copy and paste a few commands um, that configure SSH for us, and we're going to log in. So um, copy your identity.pem file out of your downloads folder and put it in your SSH folder. So that's what this step does. And uh, change the security, uh, the permissions to be very private. So 400 is the good one there. We're also going to save our elastic IP address as a bash variable just because um, it's going to make it easier to type in some of the future commands. So here, uh, copy and paste the IP address um, because this is the, the one that we're going to need uh, to get access to the instance from the internet. Now, uh, this line is going to uh, append to the SSH config um, and it says, uh, anytime we connect to our Elastic IP address, use the identity file that um, we just created for it. And so finally, uh, we're going to SSH to the machine, log in as Ubuntu, uh, accept the remote host fingerprint. And uh, if everything worked well, you just get a normal command prompt. And uh, that's what we've got right now. There you go.